Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the basics of customizing your theme and navigation menu for your AppGyver application. For those of you that are new to the AppGyver platform, it's a great way to create a mobile app for Android, iOS, and even a mobile or a web application completely free without knowing any code whatsoever. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now, jumping straight in, I cover a lot of the AppGyver basics in my AppGyver playlist. So if you want, check out the channel. There's tons of resources and options and videos there for you to browse. But in this video, we're focusing on the theme and navigation menu. So I have the sample application here. You can simply click on the theme button. And as you can imagine, you get this massive series of different options for these different colors. So to show you where these are essentially going to sit in the application itself, we can click on the page layout here on any page, and you'll see there's a background color. Now you'll see all of these color options here, so level one through four and several others. This may change over time, but these are essentially the palettes that you can work with or the background colors. Now another thing to note is if you want, you can create your own custom palette easily. So we can just drag the slider bar and maybe we want to make this bluish color. We'll name it blue color. And then you can click save. Now the background color has changed and you'll see when you click on the background color, we have these custom content palettes here. And then if we click save, and we go over here, now this application has updated. Now you can also download the AppGyver preview app and view this on a mobile device as well. But that's just one option to show you. So we're gonna go to the theme again. So to change any of these colors, it's very, very simple. To change the app background, for example, right here, you can just click on this and then move this cursor around, or you can use the button here to switch to the hex code or um, it's really whichever choice is easiest for you. But I find it easier just to move these sliders around and you can adjust all of the options here as well. And then if you want, you can actually switch between the options. Basically, once you pick something, you can move on to the next option and then just save the application. Uh, but a couple things to note is you can actually record this information here and just type it in. That way you don't have to worry about remembering exactly where the mouse was. It makes it a little bit easier to copy this information. So the idea here is if you were to click on this, you can copy this code here and go up here. And then you would basically just be able to switch through the options and paste it in there. So just one option for you. Um, so when you're scrolling through, you can change, for example, we could paste in the code here, and now you'll notice we have the same color, and you could follow through doing that in the various levels. So you have your app background, levels one through four, you can click next and view all of the other options here, and then you also have your custom colors that should look familiar. Uh, so you have light blue and blue color that were made earlier. So you can see you have a ton of really cool options as far as how to organize this and, and change these colors here. And then you can click on these to kind of highlight that row across. Now, next up you have theme variables. So you have a couple of options here. So for color variables, you'll see you have this navigation bar option. So you can edit this by clicking here and you'll see you have the variable name, the title, the uh, basically just the information in general. And you can adjust information here. So we have the navigation bar background color. So maybe we want to make it this light bluish color. We can just click OK. And you'll see that has changed. And this is the navigation bar. So we're just going to click Save and see what happens. And now, I'm sorry, I apologize, the navigation bar is up here. So you'll see that that has actually changed color. So that's the navigation bar background color. Now we can change the text color with the same method. So you can click here and drag around. I found it's easier to click on the edit button and make those changes here. So maybe we want the text to be some kind of dark blue color. We can click OK and save. And over here, once this refreshes, now the text color up here has changed as well. So you can change the tab bar text color, the tab bar background color. So if we wanted to, we could click edit over here and just like we've been doing, essentially change this. Again, I'm not trying to make this visually appealing just to kind of give you an example of how this would work. So we'll change it to this color and click save 
and then we'll come over here. And you'll see obviously this does not look very good, but we now have this tab bar color over here. So you'll see we have the navigation bar, the bar text, the bar background, so you can choose to kind of customize the different areas of the screen, and you can use the AppGyver mobile app to preview this to see what it looks like on a mobile device. You can do the same for text size variables, borders within variables. So essentially you see all of these different theme variables that you can adjust. You just hit this button to expand and you can click the little pencil to make those changes. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. And then lastly, you can do the same with the fonts here. So you can make any changes that you need to. So you can click here, um, basically just choosing the Playfair display. We would choose the option that you want to use. So it gives you options to choose throughout this list. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty lengthy. So you have the ability to add a font style and add font from URL. So you can upload those font assets or you can click here and choose the URL. So that's how you're gonna navigate the theme section. Next up is the navigation menu. So you can do custom navigation and create a list and basically work through this list here or you can use the built-in navigation. So the custom navigation is basically, uh, it looks oddly similar as far as the screen and the layout. So you basically would just say, okay, here's page one, here's the icon, the name uh, for the tab, and then the name for the page. But you can also go to the actual navigation menu itself. So we don't really need the custom navigation necessarily, but you can try to save both just to see what would happen. But as you can tell, it doesn't look like anything's really happening. We haven't really set up a whole lot. So again, you can change the icon, browse through the library, change the tab name and the page name here, and then you can edit it by just clicking it. Now for built-in navigation, that's what I have currently. So navigation header bar is enabled. If you want, you could disable this and click save. And you'll see here that open test page or the text is gone. So we can also enable or disable the navigation menu. So if you disable this and click save and we go back over, you'll see now we just have this page. Bearing in mind that you do need navigation if you're publishing to the Apple App Store. So if you want this to work on an iOS device, at least at the time of filming this, to my understanding, there is no native navigation. So unlike Android where the navigation bar is built in, you may need to add additional navigation to get your app approved to use in the App Store. But if we have all of this enabled, we will know what page we're on at all times. And then we can enable this. And then you can add a page. So basically, if we have the, I only have two pages in this app. So one page will be open, and then the other one will be just the other page. You can change the icon by selecting it, and then choosing from this icon library here. And you can type in here if you want to try to find or search for an icon. Choose the page it opens, and basically you can just click Save. Now when we go, you'll see we have that global canvas name up top, and then we have the empty page and the web page preview. So now the text has changed, so this will change based on the page we're on because we've enabled this, and we have the two page options that are in the application. So you can continue to expand on this over time. Um, there's not too many options for customization here, but again, you can work on the custom navigation here and you just click on pages to view their properties. So that's pretty much everything as far as working with themes and navigation. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.